Emacs rocks when you try to edit files remotely. Of course you can do it as usually, so just log in and in Tmax or an editor available on the remote computer, it's Vim or Emacs or something else, you can edit the files, but you can also do it from your main session and uh, sometimes it's much more easier and quickly than doing anything else. For example, I want to examine the hosting nginx.conf. Do it very easy. Hosting and then we go etc nginx and for example just list the files in this directory and see what happens. And here we see the files. You can open the configuration file, look, edit, save and everything will work fine. So uh, you can also do sudo twice and it will go to your computer, local computer and you can do the same things there. You can, by the way, on the remote server you can also try, for example, you change the file and you can run the uh, shell there and and it will reuse the same SSH connection you use it for the main thing, like for file editing. And then you can, you can check the status, for example. It works. Okay. And even more fancy, fancy thing, which is interesting for the WOPS team, could be, for example, this one. Examine Docker. Oh no, local. That's a remote one. Let's. Let's do it from my remote local computer. Okay, and now let's do Docker. We see there are several things. So for several Docker containers started. So let's try do this, this Docker and name of the container. And so we're there. It's very nice because editing files on the docker is not very easy and now you can do it and debug and do other things that's so far short how you can open files remotely 